Hello, beautiful people. So here we are with our amazing, powerful group, the Cardinal Method community that has been growing. And we're going to talk about the powerful quiz, the prosperous professional life quiz that we've created for you. And I'm really excited to see so many people interacting. I do have some data that I want to share with you. And this quiz is going to be around for a few more days. So this statistic, um, data that I have for you now are the, the number of people, the percentage of people who have answered our quiz about the prosperous professional life that they want to lead and what would be the, the most powerful energetic blockage in their lives right now. So just want to thank everybody for being here, your beautiful presences, and we are going to dive into the prosperous professional life possibility that you can create in your life, right? If you are already successful, you can always grow because one of the reasons why we were born in this planet is for us to be happy, fulfilled, and to keep growing as human beings. So even if you're already successful professionally, there's always space for you to grow. However, a lot of people come to me and the, the whole reason why we created a quiz to dive into a prosperous professional life is because people were asking me about it, especially energy healing practitioners, because that is the field that I teach in, right? So we have the Cardinal Method course, and for people who are not energy healing practitioners, but who are in the Cardinal Method, like in A Course in Human Nature, and the Cardinal Method meditations, they also ask how can they prosper in their professional lives? So when we created this quiz, we, when you go there and take it, if you haven't already, it, the link's in the bio here, so you can just go to our website and the quiz will be there, paularenova.com. When you start answering the questions, you will start feeling something stirring in your heart. It's always like that with the Cardinal Method. For those of you who are not familiar, the Cardinal Method of Life Connection is a system I created to release obstacles from your life, especially energetic blockages. And you use specific systems and tools to create those shifts in your life, right? Especially using crystals. We use a lot of crystals in the Cardinal Method. So what I wanna talk about in this live session, and you can interact, you can ask any questions you want. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. And if you're just watching the recording, we always get connected in the right timing, right? The time you'll be hearing this is the perfect time for your soul. So ask questions, comment your experiences, whatever makes sense for you. I will be more than happy to interact. It's always wonderful. So when you take the quiz, you will start feeling something shifting within. And when you get the results, you will feel something different coming into your mind because the Cardinal Method is about consciousness expansion so that we can create the joy of life, right? But consciousness expansion and the joy of life, which are everlasting and always expanding, they require soul healing if it's needed. So sometimes our souls have unfinished business. They have some pain that creates energetic blockages so we don't thrive in a specific area of life. It could be relationships. It could be financial. It could be professional. And in this case right now, the quiz that we're talking about here is about prosperity in your professional life, which is a broader concept than we tend to think. So when you see your result in the quiz, you're going to observe one of the three main options. You're going to fall under one of the three main umbrellas that could be the root causes right now of your professional stagnation or the, your professional life may be plateauing or you may be not thriving at all. And the best part of life, I believe, is that every problem has a solution, right? Life is made of problems and solutions. We cannot be, we cannot be just drowning in the quicksand of the problems. There are solutions. And when you get the insights of what may be the energetic blockages, something starts to shift in your life. So what were the primary results that we got here? I have an audience in Portuguese because I'm from Brazil and I have an audience in English worldwide, people from many different countries. And some t when we have different quizzes too, we have quizzes about your chakras and emotional blockages and how you can create more joy in your life. 
sometimes the results are the same in the two audiences and sometimes they're very different. In the case of prosperous professional life blockages, the root cause of what could be blocking your prosperity could be your lack of self-care. So you could be creating solutions for yourself. The more you take care of your body, the more you rest, the more you take care of your nutrition. There are um, very, very specific things you can do to expand on your self-care so that you will be stronger to serve others in your professional life. You cannot create a prosperous professional life if you're burned out, right? If you don't rest enough, if you don't nurture yourself properly, if you don't move your body properly, body needs movement, nutrition, rest, and if you go to the quiz and that's your result, there's a video there that dives a little deeper into it. There's a second reason why our, professionals, our professional lives may not be thriving. And that is the quality of your relationships. And some people get very surprised. I got some feedback and people saying, my result was quality of my relationships. What does that have to do with my professional life? And I'll tell you right, right off the bat right now. If you have issues with your romantic partner, if you have issues with a family member, if something's going on between you and your parents, between you and your siblings, between you and your friends or in your work environment, these relationships may be draining your vital energy. And when you don't have enough vital energy, you cannot work as well as you could or should, right? You don't have enough vitality to, to survive in your professional life, let alone expand on it. So if you get the results of relationships, observe the quality of your relationships and if you're not being drained by someone close to you, it could be a deeper root cause on a subconscious level that you may not really be paying attention to. And the third reason why we may be blocking our professional lives, why our professional lives do not thrive, is because you need to focus more on your professional growth, your career, and in your relationship with money. So that's a different level of, uh, I would say, blockage, right? Because the very basic level, and this is really, this can really be a loop. Hello, Zuma, so wonderful to see you. I see some Cardinal Method practitioners here, some people who are participating in our constellations. I love it. Some people who are in our course in human nature and the Cardinal Math of Meditations. It's beautiful to see you guys here. Wonderful to see you diving deeper. So what happens when you have blockages with your professional life regarding your relationship with your career and with your money? There could be one main reason. There could be many reasons altogether. But you need to observe if you do what you love. If you're in love with your career, or maybe you were in love and now life is asking you to do something different, maybe you need a career shift, or maybe you need to change positions and go to another um, place in wh whichever place you work in, you know, just change a little bit, do something different, get different groups of people to work with, you know, get a new position wherever it is that you work. It could be that. It could be that it's very easy, and I can say this from experience, it's very easy for us to get into comfort zones with our work. So we may plateau because our very primitive brain, the reptilian brain, right, wants you to use the least amount of energy possible because it's always watching out for your survival. So if you're thriving and plateauing for the reptilian brain, that's good enough. Why would you want to expand? Because the reptilian brain is unaware of your higher self and your spiritual self and of the abundance of life, of things that are beyond survival, right? So if your professional life is plateauing, maybe you need to invest more in knowing more about your field, in getting more updates about whatever area it is that you work in. And if you're an energy healing practitioner, for example, maybe you need to brush up on what the courses that you have, the modalities that you use, or learn something new, right? Maybe your comfort zone, it could be that. 
it could also be your relationship with money needs to be healthier because a lot of people do not have a healthy mindset about money, have a very tumultuous relationship with money. There's a lot of guilt involved. There are a lot of limiting beliefs about money. Money is the source of all evil. And what I need to tell you is that money is a tool. Money is just an instrument. You can't say that money is evil. Everything begins and ends in the human heart. So beautiful people like Mother Teresa will manage money to help others, right? So beautiful hearts create beautiful things in the world with money and actually need the money to create beautiful things in the world. So money is a tool for that. If someone has a non-beautiful heart, if someone doesn't have uh, a good heart, that someone has money, that person may do evil things with money. So money is not the corrupt source of the problem at all. It's just a neutral tool. Money allows you to have the resources to lead a prosperous life, to have more free time, to have more quality, more quality time with yourself so that you can nourish yourself and be present for others. No one who's burnt out in his or her work works well. No one who doesn't receive enough money, who doesn't receive enough for his or her own work, will ever work well. So the adult world, when we are mature professionally, we don't think money is boring. We don't think dealing with money is too hard for me. We don't delegate money. We own it and we learn about it and we learn how to grow and invest our money, right? It's not just for survival. It's not just for pleasure. It's for the structure of your life. So being an adult in the world, means that you are engaging in balanced exchanges of energy. You give out beautiful quality in your service. You receive the fair amount of money for whatever it is that you offer the world. And a lot of people have that problem. In the balance in giving and receiving, as we talk about in family constellations and cardinal method constellations, which we hold every Saturday. Now we're going to have, oh, I need to tell you this, everybody who's, who's in the constellations, because we have so many people in different time zones, people in the West Coast, California, people in British Columbia, right, in Canada, people in Hawaii who love the Cardinal Method, we are holding constellations at 9 a.m. on Saturdays, 9 a.m. Eastern U.S. time, and at 3 p.m. Eastern time here in Florida, so that people in the West Coast don't have to wake up at 6, 5 a.m. to be in the constellations, okay? So that's really important that I say this in, this in these videos and we will be telling you more about that too. But the focus here is whether your professional life is not as prosperous as it could be. And prosperous means you do what you love. You make enough money to be a happy person with what you love. You, you feel valued for your work. It's about personal fulfillment. It's a broad concept. If you do not take care of your physical body and you do not take care of your soul, you cannot serve others in a beautiful way. So you nourish yourself, you delight yourself. It's not just about self-care in terms of health. It's also about being extremely non-negotiable about your pleasure moments. No one in the planet can be happy and serve in beauty, in abundance, if that person does not have pleasure in life. And pleasure is also a huge taboo, right? We're talking about money taboos, we're talking about pleasure taboos. So give yourself permission to nourish your body with the proper food, with the nutrition that you need, with the sleep that you need, enough hours of rest, with movement, we need to move our bodies. Our bodies need us to move. Our bodies do so much for us, right? Since we were in our mother's womb, our bodies have been supporting and sustaining us since the beginning of life. Why can't we give at least half an hour of our 24-hour day to move our bodies with yoga, with workout, with whatever it is that you love to do, with swimming, walking, running, 
Maybe you like more intense workout, maybe you like more mellow workout, but your body needs to move, and especially flexibility too. We need strength and flexibility in the body. But taking care of yourself also involves you giving yourself permission to have pleasure in life. Pleasure is not a sin. Making money is not a sin either. You need to make money to survive, but it's not just about survival. Making enough money to grow your money and create more value in the world too. But your pleasure is your birthright. I keep saying this, I'll be saying this in all my live sessions. Your pleasure is your birthright. It's not a luxury. I, get a, I told you guys, I get a lot of feedback from people who write to me in emails. They answer the quiz and then they write me emails or they DM me on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube, right? And there is so much resistance to giving yourself permission to have pleasure as if it were a luxury. People, different people who don't know each other and give me feedback keep saying, I give myself the luxury of free time. I give myself the luxury of being happy. Listen, being happy and free time are not luxuries per se. They are your birthright. And luxury and beauty are also part of nature and part of, your, of a beautiful life as well. Luxury is not a sin. We tend to confuse concepts in our minds, right? Superfluous things and superficial things are equal to luxury. And even Deepak Chopra, who is an enlightened, beautiful soul, will tell you. He has meditations about this. Luxury is part of nature. Luxury is essential to your life. Luxury, beauty are very, very important. It's your birthright. So self-care could be one of the reasons why your life is not prospering professionally. The quality of your relationships. I know this is a touchy subject. And listen, when you observe the quality of your relationships, if your romantic partner is draining your energy or a parent or a sibling or a cousin, anyone who's related to you on the blood level or the... Or the soul level, you know, the, the, I don't like the word step, mother, father, step, brother, whatever. I just call them soul, whatever, soul, brother, right? Soul, mother, soul, father, instead of step. Um, but if you have issues with people in your family, if you have issues with your romantic partner, if you have issues with friends, I have, I see so many clients who have draining friendships. And I will tell you, this is in my book, Your Cardinal Connections. You can probably see it up here right there friendships are meant to be light and easy if you have difficult friends who drain your energy that's not the nature of a friendship at all okay <laughs> you need to observe the quality of your friendships and I'm not saying end your relationships I'm saying observe the quality of your relationships and improve the quality of your relationships that's what I'm saying so let's see here Oh, beautiful people. Thank you for interacting. So I have someone who is my student in Brazil, Danielle. Great to see you. Watching me from, oh wow, the northeast of Brazil in a bus. So there is Wi-Fi there and he's watching this live session. So I love this. Thank you so much. It's great when you have, I changed careers. I shifted from being a, a university professor to becoming an energy healing practitioner and author in this area with the Cardinal Method. And I will tell you, it flowed in a very smooth and natural way because I was following what I call in the Cardinal Method, my life connection path, what the Native Americans call my sacred path, right? So when you're connected to your sacred path, when you're connected to your life mission, believe me, the world will contribute. You will receive the help and the resources to do what it is that you need to do to lead a prosperous life. In this case right now, what we're focusing on to lead a prosperous professional life. And again, I need to say this. If you're an energy healing practitioner, if you want to become an energy healing practitioner, if you love energy healing, if you want to do it for yourself, I have taken 
yoga teacher courses. I have never been a yoga teacher, but I did take the yoga teacher training because I wanted to improve my personal individual practice with yoga, right? So people who love energy healing and especially professionals, if you have embraced the, the professional path of energy healing, which is beautiful, it is possible to lead a prosperous life with energy healing. It is possible to own your truth and not apologize for it. And if you are afraid of being judged by being an energy healing practitioner, right? Um, people don't understand your talents, this or that. The world is moving in the direction of spirituality, of emotional healing, of understanding the subtle realms of merging the material and the physical reality with the spiritual reality. Energy healing practitioners are becoming more and more respected in the world. This is a career. And I really want you to believe that if you have energy healing gifts, if you have psychic gifts, this is a blessing. And this is a source of prosperity for you. A lot of people who have energy healing talents and take energy healing courses kind of treat it as a hobby or they don't charge for their sessions. They feel intimidated. They feel, you know, I don't know if it's shame or guilt. I should give it away. How dare I charge for spiritual service? Every spiritual institution that exists in the material world needs physical nourishing, needs physical support, material support. All the churches receive donations, right? Um, and this is a professional skill. You are giving something. It's only fair that you receive a fair amount of money for that. And again, money is energy, right? Money is a way to measure the value of your work. So if you need to work on your health and well-being, nourishing yourself, so that you are strong to lead a prosperous professional life, do this. Maybe that's the result of your quiz. If you haven't taken the quiz yet, it's in the link in our bio, right here on Instagram and on Facebook and in our website, paulrenova.com. If your relationships need more care in terms of balance, in terms of quality, observe who's draining your energy, and it's probably not on purpose, People love each other and they have different ways of loving. So just observe what is the beautiful right amount of energy for you in your relationships. Or if it's your career and your money you need to focus on, that could be one of your results. Observe if you have an issue with money and that needs to be healed. Or if you're maybe in a comfort zone professionally and you're not really honoring the calling of your soul and your higher self. So that could be one of the reasons. I am so happy we have some interaction here. Conscious Healing 88. I've had trouble scaling my business from the one-on-one -on -one model, which, which just isn't financially lucrative or reliable enough to bank on. And it's not because of any of the issues listed. Thank you for sharing this. Um, I do believe, though, that one-on-one, -on -one, depending on how much you charge and how you organize your time, one-on-one... -on -one, uh, sessions for energy healing can be very lucrative and can give you a very powerful um, professional life and also support you depend it may be that depends on how you charge because I know people who have very thriving businesses who who work with one-on-one -on -one. so everyone has a different experience but maybe you can explore more on that okay I would love to hear more if uh, that's the case. We're just exploring the field and we are going to dive deeper into this topic. So the quiz is just the initial part of it. It's just the tip of the iceberg. We're going to be diving deeper in the next weeks, okay? And it's just impossible to do all the video editing and marketing and graphic, graphic designs and branding and copywriting and course creation. It is if you're by yourself. So what I do see a lot of people doing when they, they decide to, to shift uh, to a digital platform is that they need help. But what I'm focusing on right now is the people who are really focusing on their calling of the soul as energy healing practitioners. Okay, 150, um, I live in the US, I live in Florida, so different states have different um, 
income rates and all of that. But 150 for a 90 minute session is way too low. I don't know you and I, I do appreciate your being here, but I don't know you at all. But this is just my general impression. I don't know your skills and what you work with, but in general, an energy healing session that's $150 um, needs to be, um, you need to work a little bit on your money mindset a little bit because 90 minutes for deep, powerful energy healing, 150, I don't believe that's enough, okay? That's my honest opinion and I am not saying that you should charge more or less. <laughs> you need to work on your own path. This is just a general thing that we're talking about, but observe if you could how you can organize your time and the amount of money you receive for your sessions. Because let me tell you, energy healing is so powerful. It's so preventive. Listen, I cannot even start to describe the benefits that people get from creating energy healing as a lifestyle, including energy healing as a lifestyle in their lives, you know? Energy healing, in my opinion, is a lifestyle. We need maintenance. It's not just intervention. Cardinal method constellations are kind of surgery in the soul if you're having your own constellation. But we tell people, come every week if you can, because it's maintenance of high vibration. So, my dear, Conscious Healing 88, you need to charge more. And a 90-minute energy healing session could be too much for you. For your client, I'm sure it isn't because it's a spa for the soul. The Cardinal method is what I call a spa for the soul. Energy healing, in my opinion, is a spa for the soul. But, you know, we could talk hours and hours about this. But I'm sure you delivered beautiful work, hypothetically, right? And just think about that. Just do the math a little bit. How many hours a day are you willing to work? Because you need to work with your nature too, right? And... Get the proper system and the proper mindset. We'll be talking more about this next week, so I hope you join us and everyone watching too who's interested in this topic because energy healing practitioners do need to own their power and do need to own their self-worth and their value. And society needs us big time. And listen, when people have this, the proper soul education, they will be more than happy to pay for a session, especially if they think about their medical bills that they will not have to <laughs> pay for the more they have energy healing sessions with a very skilled and beautiful practitioner. That's what I believe. This is what I live for when it comes to energy healing in my life. So I'm sure you have a lot of value to give to the world and your money exchange needs to be honoring the value that you deliver. Okay? So think about that. Maybe you need to change careers. Maybe you need to stay where you are. We will see. Life will bring you the right insights. So that's so lovely. Who else is interacting? Um, so then I was saying, this makes a lot of sense because when I started um, working with your contents and the Cardinal Method knowledge, well, he was my student when I was a university professor. So we talked a lot about human nature and the philosophy and moral philosophy and all that. And then... This beautiful person, Danielle, he dove into the Course in Human Nature with me in the first phase. Because the course in, human, a course in Human Nature is a course that is a three-year curriculum. It started in November of 2018. It's going to end in November of this year. But we're going to create something different from it, more practical. So those of you who were in the Course in Human Nature will get your certificates and it will be amazing. And then we're going to start using all that content for something more practical which we'll talk about here soon when the time is right. So he's saying, I changed a lot of my perspectives once I got in touch with your content. Yes, the cardinal method does shift your paradigm. It does change the way you see life and the world so that you create soul healing if needed, consciousness expansion, and the joy of life, right? So he's saying, I'm going to write an email to write to you. Oh, I love it. Write an email to give me feedback because I love these case studies. The Cardinal Method does change people's lives. Their health improves if they're willing. Their financial life improves if they're willing. Their professional lives and all that. So he's saying, you're a mentor in my journey. I'm so happy to know that and great to have you here. Conscious Healing 88, beautiful way to put it. I'm so happy. I love it when we start creating the synergy and the vortex and we meet each other because we've all been in the same vibration. We just don't know each other yet, 
right? So that's why I keep telling people, please share the videos that you see on YouTube and please share the live sessions on Instagram and on Facebook because the more people know about this, the more we create soul education in a healthy mindset, the happier the whole world will be, right? A beautiful world is made of beautiful, happy individuals. There are a lot of beautiful people in the world who do not know that yet and who are not as happy as they could be. So the beautiful people really need to be happier people in my opinion. So thank you everybody, it's been wonderful. We're gonna be holding another live session next week, so stay tuned for that. I will bring you more statistics about, let me just share this with you, hold on a second. So these are, we have more people who've taken the quiz, but, and these statistics are from Tuesday, and I apologize because I was going to get the, the more recent statistics with my team and I didn't, but I will tell you later what we have. This quiz is going to be around for a few more days, as I said. So for the Portuguese speaking people, we had 27.2 of the results needing to focus on their health and well-being. We had 43.2% needing to focus on the quality of their relationships. And we had 29.6% needing to focus more on their career and their money. So number one, in the group of people who took the quiz, which were over 200 people on Tuesday, we have 43.2%, which is to focus on your relationships. So relationships, that are not in high vibrations may drain your energy. The energy that should be allocated in your professional life is being drained by disharmony in your relationships. So your relationships can be mended. They can have much more quality. They can be purified. So work on that for the Portuguese speaking people. Because I know there are a lot of people who speak Portuguese who watch the English live sessions too because they're always different, right? We have a channel, Paulo Renova Brazil in Portuguese too, for those of you who like to listen to Portuguese. Some of the English speaking people tell me they love that, so you can go there too. For the English speaking community, we had 20.5% who needed to work on their health and well being, 36.7% on relationships, the quality of their relationships, and 42.8% on their, their career path enhancing their professional life and on their money so the for the english speaking community money career and money was number one so these are just preliminary so we're going to see how many more people are going to be joining us on the quiz share the quiz please ask more people to take it so that we can see how you guys are doing and we can create more contents to help you with more laser being focused on what you want, right? This prosperity quiz, the Prosperous Professional Life quiz was created because people kept asking me about it. So we're gonna be focusing on what you guys want as a more screaming priority, all right? So thank you everybody for being here. Such a beautiful moment. Thank you for your presences. Thank you for watching the recordings and sharing this with people you know will benefit from it. And please ask questions and comment. I would love to hear you guys and your experiences. Thank you. Much love to everyone. Bye-bye.